start the early AM then with MTV Sports' Good Morning Sri Lanka. I'm your host, Jason. And of course, with me is Amaya, as always, we're having such a great day because it's TGI Friday. TGI Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Friday? Friday. You just, just repeated yourself. But thank God did. it is Friday. And it's always great to be on the show when it's a Friday because we know that the weekend is just around the corner as well. And Jason, now... Do you know that February, when you look at the calendar, has a lot of potential for long weekends? <laughs> but there is that occasional odd day in between the weekend yeah. and the actual holiday, but I'm sure that people, um, our viewers can find ways around that. Not that we're encouraging low productivity here in Sri Lanka, it's yeah. very important to do your job as well, but... On a good note, there is, there is a lot of potential for long weekends. Yeah, because the last thing you want is us reading you news about <laughs> Sri Lanka's having low income month. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Yep. Did you know Philip Seymour Hoffman, one of the world's best actors, personally, I think he's the greatest, passed away this week? Oh dear. This is... That's not the reaction I was looking for. <laughs> I, was like, I was looking for like tears and like, come on, am I... Ashes on Philip the head. Seymour. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it, it is sad. I mean, there are some really great people who uh, are taken away too soon, but not that Philip Seymour Hoffman was very young, but he was someone who uh, contributed a lot to the world of movies. And I'm, and as you can see from Jason's face, <laughs> I'm going to shift now <laughs> and not say anything. Well, else. yeah, no. My recommendation for your first thing you do to, today after the show, obviously, um, you go and watch The Mentalist, which is one of uh, Hoffman's best films that I watched today. Mm -hmm. Make but sure you check that out. if you're not someone who likes sitting in front of, uh, sitting on the couch and just in front of a movie watching something, and you're more into doing things mm -hmm. with your hands, and you're into paper craft as well as all sorts of other handicrafts, then this is the perfect show for you. Even if you're doing it already or you're planning on starting up, then we have a great show for you planned out today, right, Jason? Yes, we do. We do. And we have with us the creator of Sue's World. Now, she is Suramya Hetty Arachi Pereira, but we're going to call her Sue on the show. I think everyone does. So welcome Sue. Good morning. Thank you. Sue Good Lanka's morning. very own Martha Stewart. <laughs> oh, we wish. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> that's a great, that's, that's a, a better great, introduction. Yeah, exactly. Like great oh, introduction. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot to live up to, but you're going to exactly. show us some little tips and tricks later on on the De show. Definitely, well. yes. But yes. first of all, now you call yourself a crafter. Yes. What is a crafter? Well, a crafter is someone who could take the ordinary mm -hmm. and put a little twist to it make it a little quirky, a tad eccentric, mm -hmm. and make something that is very nice. It's, right. it's cheap, mm -hmm. but something that is affordable and that looks elegant and looks nice and something that you can, you can uh, even market mm -hmm. and make it into a business. That's what I did uh, quite accidentally, but yes, so it's, it's great. So let's rewind. Now, before you started up Sue's World, I mean, what were you doing and what were you involved in at that time? Um, that was some, a few years ago, mm -hmm. let's say. Mm -hmm. okay. right. And uh, it was, um, I was, I was into media for a while mm -hmm. uh, and I was teaching. And uh, then uh, I worked with children with special needs uh, in sort of an administration level. Uh, and then um, there was marriage. Mm -hmm. And then there was kid number one, uh -huh. uh, then there <laughs> came kid number two. <laughs> and then we decided, I decided that I needed to stay at home with the children. Oh, but okay. uh, uh, as, I, as I stayed at home, I felt that I, I just can't, I was working for a long time, 10 years and more mm -hmm. than 10 years. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's, a, it's a lot of, a long time to be working and then suddenly stop. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do things that... Um, would keep me going but was not as demanding uh, where I would leave my children with care or you know where I just yeah. just leave them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that what that's what happened and um, Sue's World was actually something that I had in my mind long time ago I ha I wanted to open up a shop called Sue's World right. when you, were, you mentioned the age earlier on before we started yes the show, I was like like 18 19 mm -hmm. I, I had this this dream of opening mm -hmm. Sue's World mm -hmm. so uh, I had the name for the shop mm -hmm. and I didn't have the shop right people have a shop first and a name <laughs> later mm -hmm. so it's a long time mm -hmm. to wait to open up a shop but thank god for facebook of course and thank god for social networking and all of that mm -hmm. and i opened up my shop and uh, sue's world, world. And uh, the best part is uh, I, I don't have a physical shop, but uh, it, it, it works well. Mm -hmm. And I think I needed that 10 years or even more than that to uh, actually set it up because that time was not right. Mm -hmm. And this is. Right. Definitely. So uh, it's Quick great. Quick fun fact, by the mm -hmm. way, so relevant to Facebook. 
Yes. Ten years this year. Ten years ten this year. Yes, exactly. Facebook is celebrating yeah. the 10th I'm birthday. a regular fun fact mm -hmm. guy because I got this new app that says fun facts for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. All right. So <laughs> Facebook started off 10 years ago as well. Yeah. And uh, now you're not the only guest on the show actually. You brought yes. along another guest as well yes. who's on the show. I hope he doesn't make an appearance. Uh, yes. On considering the it's just a, a week or so away. Yes. Let's not hope. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed for me. Jason is planning on being the hero on the show this morning. But you know, I watched yeah, so much of episodes of ER, I could, <laughs> you just could, could do it with your eyes closed. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right, let's not jinx it now. We're going to stop <laughs> talking about this. But yes. yeah, so congratulations <laughs> on Thank your you. and, um, uh, coming guest as well. Yeah, and, and, and it's great because mm -hmm. now with, with my third child, it, it's, it's just totally amazing. And it's the right sort of thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, it keeps me creative. It keeps my, my other kids kids creative as well because then they oh. get the scraps of paper and then they do stuff like that and um, considering that I also taught little uh, preschoolers the most important thing is that you must allow them to be uh, as creative as possible right so when it comes to that give just give free reign give give them what they need to do even if it means to finger paint if it means mm -hmm. to play with sand work with paper and crumple it and to to just uh, tear it apart that means you are developing their motor skills fine motor skills cross motor okay. skills and a lot of parents in Sri Lanka feel that you know they should be writing and mm -hmm. that is not what they should be doing they should be using their time mm -hmm. as pre-graders to 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 use their motor skills and to, and to develop it and sensory of sort of uh, education, education and okay. and also to to enjoy mm -hmm. to be creative mm -hmm. so this is just fantastic that way so, right. uh, so it's something that your kids and you can do together exactly as well. but let's talk about the type of services that you have now you started this up as a business venture yes so what type of crafts do you really look into when it comes to an event event we are looking at things like things like very basic things like pom poms mm -hmm. which is which you make out of behind uh, there yes it's just over there yeah. I yeah. notice this. Uh, you, you do it with tissue paper mm -hmm. or you can do it with tool or you can do it with all sorts of material but okay. it is relatively cheap but something that is slightly um, what I would say time consuming mm -hmm. so that's when it turns into a business venture right. a mom can easily do this for right. her child's birthday mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right you, you just need a bit of time mm -hmm. but uh, other than that, if you do like I've done 300, 400 pom poms for events. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, so that's then a lot of there pom -poms. is that uh, element of uh, of commercialism in it, right. and you Just have in terms of volume. In terms of volume. Okay. So ev for events, it works well for for everybody because it's relatively a cheap option mm -hmm. right. and elegant anyway. It looks quite complicated though. It it isn't. We we can actually work. Oh, we right. we are going to um, well, you are going to make it. Well, Jason is going awesome. to make making a pom -pom on the show this yes, morning. Uh, hooray. Yeah, that's a thumbs up. So we'll me. see. Jason might make it more complicated than it actually is, but it's okay. We'll try to go so step fold step. it at point A and then you <laughs> fold it at point B. I don't know. But I've noticed that uh, a lot of your stuff, even the uh, things here, it's made out of paper. Yes, paper is a cheap option. Mm -hmm. right. And also it is um, something that I feel mothers can do at home. You know, you it's just paper. need colored A4 paper right. mm -hmm. and you just put things together staple it here and there, glue it a bit here and there and then you have something f what you need exactly for your child's birthday party. Definitely. You know you don't need the traditional balloon, right. you don't need all of that. You can have, you can just get a few colored paper and then put it together and it's really yeah. really very very cute, very sweet mm -hmm. and um, and also something very unique definitely right. because uh, people would actually want to to touch it and a lot of the parties that I've done also mm -hmm. where they've they, they keep the decor right. even after the party for oh. months and months oh. because the children like to touch it mm -hmm. they yeah. like to see it and then you have that sensory thing that's going on as well right. so uh, I think it's great it's a great piece of the Maya's holding because yeah, Valentine's Day is just around Valentine's the corner, Day is just yes. around the corner. exactly 
and this is so cute we'll try to get a close up of this but again this is out of paper it's out well. of paper as well and it's just two colors and you just put them together mm -hmm. the thing is um, you can learn the basic which is uh, which we can do later on okay and uh, you just uh, have to figure out how you change your pattern right and you have different types of garlands yeah. so the basic wow. thing is the same and then you just add the the, the rest of it so it's just fantastic right so way. let me get this straight like the garlands that we're looking at right now yes. um, could you modify the design in your own way like for you example can. if me and Amaya what had our birthday party and we wanted some of this stuff, yes and we really like Star Wars like yes. we love that movie that exactly. trilogy so we want something in that design could you obviously because the star I mean, Star Wars is like perhaps a, a tad um, there, but complicated. <laughs> but, but then you can because what you do is you 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 change the material in terms right. of like say you use more of the colors you know the silvers and the blacks and the whites mm -hmm. and the grays mm -hmm. and then you change let's say you don't obviously use a heart yeah. but you change the shape okay. so that it has that futuristic that uh, the the element of. Uh, uh, right, Star the Wars, the party, yeah. and then and move on, and then what you do is even if you do have like let's say a heart, you can add a picture or a, 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 pr a computer Cut printout, out. Oh, yes. and okay. then stick to it. Oh, look at that. That's it. That's so because true. like for example, if you have like a mighty crush on um, uh, Darth Vader or somebody, or <laughs> yeah, you know, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. Oh, that's that's <laughs> not psychoanalyzing. No, like it's a mad right crush. Now. Like Darth Vader is the coolest. Yeah. Guys, so you, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you can e easily make a wreath. You stick the picture yeah. there, and then you add uh, Star Wars elements and um, futuristic um, uh, silver things, the right sabers, around it. Like sabers, 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 lightsabers, yeah, and things yes. like that. And then easily you have it. So Absolutely. it's just a matter of thinking and perhaps organizing yourself a bit because right. it does take time. Mm -hmm. And then just go for it. I think a lot of us. It's part of our education system. Right. Mm -hmm. We have been told this is what is creative. Yeah. This is what is art. And um, let's not go anywhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Do you find that that's a fault in yeah. the curriculum nowadays? Yes, as well? I think so. I think so. We've 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 tried to make changes I think mm -hmm. we've realized it mm -hmm. but um, our system is where you have about 40 50 children in one class yeah yes, right, yes. Yeah. you can't do so craft that ratio like that really doesn't work out very and well, one teacher mm -hmm. and you you can't you can't uh, encourage or inspire a lot of um, mm -hmm. creativity in that yeah those but who the kids who will go along with the system go along and then some exactly. just fall off along the but way. But I think at home, that's what's mm -hmm. really important. This is what you do at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, you can't expect the education system to be doing this all the mm -hmm. time. You can't give it to someone else. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, mums can do it. And definitely grandmothers because they take the bulk of the work now. Mm -hmm. uh, they do it. And but stay at home dads. Like Which is guy. even better. <laughs> even better. Exactly. So then you have something, you know, mm. which is not a very feminine thing that you have to do. I mean, yes. craft is something that you can really do with your kids. But I have noticed that dads can be extremely creative. Okay. And they do give the freedom of space to their children. Mm. Their moms would be a little bit more concerned about the house and maybe, you know, how much, how dirty things yeah. you'll get. Yeah. Dads would allow. So that there you are. They, I'm so going to do that work <laughs> with my future kids. Anyways, we'll go into a quick commercial break. Mm -hmm. uh, with, and coming back, we'll have more of Sue, and I might try my hands in a bit of yeah. craftsmanship.